the November 4th general election. And the candidates running for South Carolina governor hope their latest TV ads will help win your vote. In tonight's Truth Check, WIFF News Force Tim Waller examines claims in Democrat Vincent Shaheen's latest ad attacking Governor Nikki Haley. We thought we could trust Nikki Haley to look out for us. This ad by Democrat Vincent Shaheen tries to cast doubt on Governor Nikki Haley's ethics. The ad begins with a story that was widely reported two years ago and even made national news. The South Carolina State Ethics Commission has opened an inquiry into the campaign finances of Republican Governor Nikki Haley. While this headline is true, the State Ethics Commission did open an inquiry into Governor Haley's campaign finances. That alone is misleading because of what the ad fails to mention. First, the complaint that Haley, a Republican, failed to maintain proper records of her political donors was filed by a staff member for the South Carolina Democratic Party, so there were political overtones from the start. Second, while the commission did find some names, addresses, and occupations were missing from her list of contributors, the matter was resolved without a hearing after Haley's campaign worked quickly to correct it and agreed to pay a small fine. But Haley used the state plane to fly to political events. And was forced to repay the taxpayers. While it's true the governor used the state airplane to fly to what some refer to as political events, there is more to the story. First, using the state plane to attend news conferences and bill signings, which is what Haley did, is something governors in this state have done for years. However, one year after Haley was first elected governor, the South Carolina legislature added a rule to the state budget, saying news conferences and bill signings are not official state business. But when a reporter brought this rule to the governor's attention, her spokesman called the use of the state plane a staff oversight, and they reimbursed the state for nearly $10,000. Nikki Haley used an official state car to get to an out-of-state political fundraiser. And then she didn't tell us when the car was wrecked. This statement is mostly true, and here's why. While the governor and her staff were involved in a fender bender in June of last year, while attending a fundraiser in North Carolina in a state-issued car, the part about Haley not reporting the accident is not entirely true. The North Carolina Highway Patrol reported the accident on its website the same day. The state law enforcement division in Columbia was also notified. But the media wasn't told, and there were no stories about the accident until almost two months later. When asked by reporters why SLED didn't put out a news release on this, SLED Chief Mark Keel said it was a minor accident with no injuries. He said folks were making a big deal out of nothing. In our next Truth Check, we examine Governor Haley's latest ad that was released just today. It accuses Democrat Vincent Jaheen of distorting the facts in his TV ad. And be sure to check out our other Truth Check reports. Just head to our website and click on the politics section under the news tab on WIFF4.com.